The first, a new bombshell poll published today shows that nearly half of the king's realms would vote to become republics if they had the chance. Caribbean countries cite colonial ties as a reason for wanting to part with the monarchy. And pretty disturbingly for King Charles, 10 of the 14 countries polled say they back the Sussexes, saying Meghan's treatment exposes racist views. It's ignited debate about whether King Charles should apologise for Britain's past sins, maybe even pay reparations. Would that make any difference? Or would it just fuel the fire of republicanism? Well, here with me now to debate this, the former royal butler to Princess Diana, Paul Burrell, the activist and organiser of Black Lives Matter protests, Iman Aiton, and the historian and royal author, Dr Tessa Dunlop. Well, this will be a quiet debate, won't it? <laughs> uh, well, you brought your earplugs, Paul. Um... <laughs> I won't get a look in. <laughs> Paul, let me, let me start yes. with you. I've got a problem with this constant... Looking back in history, mm -hmm. feeling guilty mm -hmm. for stuff that none of us in this era actually did, mm -hmm. and then having to say sorry for everything that we didn't do, and even now, apparently having to pay people today for stuff that happened to their ancestors many generations before. It's, I don't really get what that achieves. We should learn from lessons of the past. Um, we can't change anything, um, and we should move forward. But the Queen's greatest achievement, his mother's greatest achievement, was the Commonwealth of Countries. She was very proud of that. I, th I think if she could, could beam her down now, she would say, my Commonwealth, that should survive intact into the King's reign. So he should do whatever he can. Now, bear in mind, I've known this man for a very long time. Yep. He has a voice. And, what, and he, he will say what he but feels. Here's the real problem he's got. There's another voice yapping away yes. about racism. Two voices. His son, Harry, yes. and Harry's wife, Meghan, who for three years have branded the royal family a bunch of callous racists. That is now turning up in these yes. polls because, understandably, frankly, yes. black people in the Commonwealth around the world yes. are going, whoa, really? They're racist, these people? And yet they haven't produced a shred of evidence for any of it. You and I know the royal family are not racist. And you and I know that they press the racist button on the Oprah Winfrey show. Yeah. And they never apologised to the Queen. Never. She went to her grave thinking there was a racist in the royal family. And after she and died, actually, they, they said... What happened? We, never, we didn't say that. The press said we that. We didn't mean to say it was well, racism. Why All didn't right. you correct it, Harry? Why didn't you tell your... Well, we know why, because it made them... It made them they weaponise racism and mental health to make themselves extremely I, rich. I totally... All right, come on. This is my problem. This has always been my problem with this racism narrative that these two have spun without any evidence, is that people around the world, particularly people of colour, they believe it. And why wouldn't they believe it? They're hearing the first person who wasn't a white royal bride say they're racist, these people. So then the damage is, is palpable, it's tangible, and it will lead, I think, if we're not careful, to a load of these countries becoming republics and the beginning of the end of the monarchy. Thank you for your soliloquy. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, no problem. So first and foremost, my feelings on the royal family and racism are not predicated on Harry and Meghan's willingness to identify. That's the difference between me and you. We are talking about a country that was built off of racism and we are referring to the oldest institution in this country that started it all. So that's the first thing. In terms of why black people and many others feel the way that we do, well, the monarchy is a symbol of white supremacy. OK? White supremacy. That is the reason. Let me just Why finish. does it make any Let difference if King Charles says sorry or why does it make if he pays money? What difference does that make? Okay. So reparations... How does that combat racism? No, it actually does. So let me The guy hasn't got a let racist me... bone in his body. He's done more for racism than any public figure in the country. Why should he be paying for the sins of people hundreds of years ago? Okay, so can I finish? Yes. Thank you very much. So, the monarchy is a symbol of white supremacy, which is what black people have had to contend with for the last 400 years, notwithstanding the fact that Elizabeth, or every king and queen, from Elizabeth I... You think the last the late queen was a, was a model of white you. supremacy? Let me finish. Let me finish my point. You just asked me several questions. Let me finish Well, answer the question, right, I'm getting there, so just finish. Well, hurry Let up. me just finish, OK? Hurry up. So, it, Every king and queen from Elizabeth I to William IV has supported and profited off of slavery. So, it... This is about the fact that this country was built off of racism, and that's his, that's this the point. This country also led. Second. This on, country you can't just keep stems talking. From, no, because I haven't even finished my point. You can't just make outlandish statements about our royal family. Don't expect me to jump in. Here, you keep, keep interrupting. Can I finish my point? This country also led the world out of slavery. Okay, so can I finish my point? A long oh, right. time ago. 
Can I finish my point, please? Yes. Perfect. But so please finish it. I will. No problem. Just be patient. So every single king and queen from Elizabeth I to William IV over a 270 years period said this. supported the enslavement of Africans and profited as a result. So it yeah. doesn't. It, it's, it and doesn't take country... any genius. Hold on a second. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that this country was built off of racism and it stems from white supremacy, all of which is directly attributed to the crown, slavery, and colonialism. To answer you your now, point, I... let me finish you can't my just point. Keep talking. Piers, you keep interrupting. Answer Let's my question. A... Let's have a conversation. Answer my question. Let's have a conversation. We need here, guys. You spoke about slavery. Let me ask my. Uh, let no, me answer the point. I asked you a specific Let's, question. I, I, I Why should the King point. Charles let me answer the point. be either apologising for what happened centuries ago okay, or paying point. money for it? Okay. So what you're talking about is slavery. I'm not talking about slavery. Slavery can be traced back to Europe. The Greek slave trade to be specific in 400 BC, then the Roman Empire, and then we get to the Muslim conquest of 7th century. And Vikings black people Egypt. had slaves so, too, what we're talking about, right? exactly. So, so I'm not talking about slavery. Slavery comes in many forms. There slavery. is a lot of slavery well, around today. So I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about colonialism, neocolonialism, racism, racial yeah. disparities, and the racist system of oppression and exploitation of black people and white supremacists, yes. actually, which have been rebanded under the government. What's that got to do with King Charles? About. I am telling you why he needs to apologise and pay reparations. Why? What did he do? Anything to do with slavery. slavery what did he do? I'm telling you, colonialism, neocolonialism, racial disparities in a racist system and white supremacist attitudes. That is the legacies of the crown, slavery right. and colonialism that still remains. I understand. Let me finally get my point across. Lord, You've you need to let me You've got your point across, but here's my point, my counterpoint to you. What's any of that got to do with King Charles? Okay, so who actually him. has been, I think, one of the great standard bearers in royal history for actually promoting racial inequality and tackling racial okay. injustice. So let me Yet you want him to be issuing grovelling apologies for people hundreds of years ago, so and you want him to pay money. OK, so I think black people would be far more inclined to get over it if it wasn't for the fact that the legacies of the crown, slavery and colonialism still remain, which includes racism, racial disparities and the racist global system of oppression and exploitation of black people. Which All right, you're not answering my question. I am, but you don't want to accept no, it. That's I do, different. No, That's you different. haven't explained you also have the what's that you got to do with King Charles. As, as, as a result of exploitation right. of black people. Let's and, us, you also let's have, us, and you also have... Let us speak now. Hold on. You haven't even let me finish, Piers. No problem, no problem. You've I've done, you've done nine tenths of the talk. No, no, you didn't let me Tessa, finish. Tessa, you didn't let me finish. I you've, wonder, heard, you've heard the debate. I think <clears> you're both <throat> wrong, actually. On the one hand, we celebrate, and you certainly do, Piers, the idea of monarchy as continuity. Yeah. Going way back when. I mean, I read an article this week that traced the anointing oils to the Old Testament and King Solomon. <laughs> you can't pick and choose which bits of that continuous historic line you like. Yes, I can. Uh, well, but how is that, you, that I'm You wrong? can, but it's hugely, okay. it's hugely but how is problematic. How is wrong? And I would counter to you where we have the face of history and the, and, and the physical form of history in our royal family. Well, when, when for example, France, the Republic, outlawed slavery much later, and in the civil wars in America, so that's what it took in America let me talk, much let me later. You. So, so, so my point is, no, two no, no. Let me finish my point. You see, you want to interrupt, but you interrupted me several let me times, Piers. You did all the talking. I see your hypocrisy right now. It's when, fine. I've, what, I did all the talking. I think what you you do, me. what we're doing here is let we're conflating an individual family with institutions of state. You can't expect a king to apologise. He doesn't have that power. It's he would have he to be told to apologise by the government because it's an institution of state. Do I have to? All right. He's talked about sorry. Excuse me. Time out. Time out. Actively apologise. Time out. Time out. Time out. You keep talking about slavery. Let's just be clear about slavery. Yes, you did end slavery. You've made that point and you've made that point. So let me address it. You did end slavery, and there was a clause in the contract that said, for example, that Jamaicans had to work up to forty-five hours a week for the following four years, whilst you simultaneously paid off the slave owners and left the enslaved and their countries to rot. And then you transition to colonialism, where slavery still continues, and yeah. then you transition to the Commonwealth, I agree. where you continue to assert your dominance, exploit black people, and do it in a far more dignified way. I agree, Mark. I agree. But this is all... But it's all about... Nobody's refuting... Can we all stop talking about... Nobody's refuting the repugnance of that period Can we please time out? The biggest problem with slavery right now is there are between 7 to 10 million slaves in India. Last time I looked, that is not as a result of white supremacy causing modern-day slavery. I would rather we expend all our energy on current slavery issues than going back I'm in the past, as we now do I'm with... We now go back in the past for I'm everything, slavery, wallowing in self-guilt about stuff that had nothing to do with us. Slavery. Paul, yes. Legacies. You Jump in. That well, no, 
well, legacies of the crown saving colonialism. You ignore that conveniently. Please okay. continue. This is, this is such Please a continue, negative. Paul. This is a Legacies negative going side. back how far? How far do you want to go back? 400 years black people have been content. Okay, so I want. Them to do? Okay. I told you that. So do you think the that. Vikings should be paying me money for what Look, they did to me? See, you're talking about slavery. I am not. I would explain. I'm not talking about slavery. I'm talking about colonialism. You're not listening to me. Racism, racial disparities. That's still content. Stop shouting. You're not listening to what I said. You're not listening to me. Should should the Vikings and the Romans also through their modern day ancestors mm -hmm. be paying me reparations for what they did to my okay. family. So I'm not talking about slavery, I'm talking about colonialism. It's not slavery, you're not listening to me. Yes, I am. The Vikings yes, and Romans didn't make yes, us slaves. Am. No, yes, you're talking about the Roman Empire, which included No, slavery. I'm talking about, about the Romans about. and the Vikings coming over here and causing immeasurable harm yes, to my ancestors. Yes, empire should and they slavery. Be, should and Italians and, slavery. and Norwegians be paying me reparations? In one sentence, one sentence, Iman, Iman, in one sentence. Go ahead. What do you want? In one sentence, what's your idea? Thank you, Tessa. Money. You want money? You want money? You want money, OK. But I want money from the Vikings and the Romans. Paul, I think... Paul, be very patient. No, but the Commonwealth is a force for good. Yes, oh, really? countries. They, yes, it is. They okay. do Absolutely. They work for each other. It's a family, a community of families that help each other. That's why it was formed. And no, you benefit more. That's why it's formed. No, we don't benefit no, more. Benefit they more. benefit no, as well. They, benefit they do benefit. Of Paul, course they do. Paul. Yes, they do. Uh, yes, I'm not saying that they don't. What I'm saying is that we benefit, you benefit, you benefit Everyone more. benefits. Exactly. All right. You benefit, Iman, you benefit, Iman, you benefit more. Iman, That's white supremacy. Iman, Iman, how much money do you want from me? That's what I keep talking about. Okay, How much so money do you want from the me? The National Commission on Reparations said that Jamaica, for example, is... is How much do you want from me? Trillion. I'm How much do you want from me? It's not about my feelings and not from you. I'm not... This isn't about oh, me and We've all got to chip in, right? So, but you How much, you want you want? You. How much about, money no, could I give you for something that had nothing to do with me, right? That's why I wanted to... How much money could I give you to make racism better? Nothing is the answer. We're talking about the legacies of the crown saving claims which includes racism. I don't know why you've come on deciding to speak like a robot today. But it's not, it's not really you working. Don't listen, <laughs> because you don't listen. That's okay. why. But that, nor does talking to me like that. Doesn't work. Okay. Well, right? how about listening? But I will happily how about pay, listening? If you could convince me that it will change racism one iota in this country, I will pay you a check for the damage inevitably that was done by my relatives when they weren't being attacked by Vikings and Romans. I will pay you reparations if I think you have any argument for why. I should. Can I give and you know what? Response? There isn't one. Can I give you a response? No, we've run out of time. See, that's it. That's the point. Guys, thank that's you all very point. much indeed.